Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's uh, me, Wokey, and I'm here with another video. We're gonna be doing a fake grand order because uh, I finally got off work. <laughs> so I'm not, after relaxing for a bit, it's time to get back into the flow of making videos and stuff. And I have some other stuff planned for now that I've been meaning to do, but I was held back by work. But I'm gonna go in here and do this because I need to, because I need to do the Road to Seven, Lost Belt Seven stuff to get my three tickets. So that's gonna be today's video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all three of them, but I'm sure as hell going to try. Uh, starting with the first one, I don't know which one of these fights are, and I will try and skip the story stuff if you are new to the story, just so it's no spoilers. If there's spoilers pop up, let me see, where is he? Where, where is Snake drinking water? There he is. There you go. When it looks like they're going to do story stuff, we'll look. So let me see what they got here. Section note three, recollection quest. Uh, yes. So let me hit this and see. All right, snake drinking water. Well, I can show this for now. There you go. Event quests. I know. Oh, oh, there he is. No spoilers here, even though the the boss I'm about to fight will 100% be a spoiler for anything. Okay. So, mysterious servants. So, when I needed to beat these quickly... What I did, I, uh, what I did was just actually just use my Summer Ibuki because she's NP5 and power through them. The thing is, is that what I remember from this fight is that it's very annoying. Not from this fight. What I remember about this Lost Belt is that this Lost Belt is super annoying. And I don't know how that translates to how hard it is. So I guess we'll, we'll see. Um, I don't even know what, what I could possibly give her. Maybe something that increases charge up? I could give maybe Devilish Boy to Lisa. Maybe. I feel like that would probably be better. Oh, you know what? It'd be better to do it this way. Yeah. I think that works out. Mash in the back just in case. Kukulain. Kukulain just for the fun of it. Uh, sure. Let's see. Let's see what, what it could possibly be. I'm sure it's not going to be anything too crazy. What could it- oh. Yeah, that that might be slightly tough. I remember this boss I being kind of a pain in the ass. Think but it's okay, because I have Castorias. Attack down. That's just rude. Okay. Let's see. Go here. Go here. So you go here, go here, um, do I want to do anything too crazy? Uh, I guess this is more attack. Yeah, I'll do this. Screw it, I may as well. I'll use everything. What's the worst that could happen? I don't remember anything about this boss other than it's a beast and therefore it's going to be hard. And I also did see that it has invincibility, so this attack does nothing, and I completely ignored that. Now I'm kind of wishing I didn't remove that <laughs> that crap doesn't. That ignore oh wait, never mind. I guess she does. Oh duh, yeah, she removes them, I think. Doesn't she? No, it's fine. It worked out. She did not get enough. Fear Revere activates on the key. Well, that's fine. We just simply won't lose. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, I'll go here. Uh, this being a beast suddenly makes this fight go much harder because beasts are annoying to fight. And this is also an AoE unit. And to be honest, for all the other fights, she was able to take them down pretty quickly. So this might be in for a long haul. This might just be the only... <laughs> This might be the only fight in the video. Because <laughs> I did not bring a team that was really suited to beating her. Now that I think about it, I could have done something here with that. That's fine. Alright, thank you. Ice Fire. Thank you, Prince Gaia. Not bad. Her Swell. Alright, I still have my everything up, so that's good. Huh, let me see. So now that I've used my main one, do I want to try and maybe swap out and go with go with her? Maybe not. I'm just going to keep it in case there's an emergency or something. 
I'm going to apply this to her. Go there. We're going to go here. Hold on to that one just in case. And hope that Summer Buki can just get me there eventually. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been much nicer to have a... I mean, 71,000 isn't bad, but... Okay, that's much better. There we go. Yeah! Fuck him up! <laughs> now, don't hit me with a noble phantasm. That would be kind of rude after all that. Oh, she stunned herself. Maybe this fight isn't as bad as I remember it. Let me see. Okay, everyone's perfectly fine. This is a definite let's increase everyone's NP real quick type of turn. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to be doing. Everyone get their stuff back. As we wait. To have the other one removed. There we go. Fear Revere aggravates on the feet. Curse well. Curse stuff. Alright. Uh, I feel like the answer here is to do this. Yes, okay. Hit him with that. Go here. Not bad. Very good, Summer Ibuki. Get him, girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's okay. There's absolutely no issues currently going on. Let's ignore... A lot. Alright. Oh my god, talk about... Boom. Let's get rid of this thing. I thought maybe it would have been a good idea to get rid of this chance of terror shit that she has gone me currently. That's right. Assemble Guardians of the Round Table. Alright, not bad. He got rid of some of that, but unfortunately I think the terror stays upon defeat thing. Curse well. Curse well. Cursing off the storm right now. Okay. Mm. Ooh, it all came back. Very nice. Very, very nice. So I'm gonna go here, here, and then hold on to these for. I can use this right now. Okay. And then go here, here, here. Should be fine. Hopefully I do enough damage. I think the answer is yes. I think with the MP5 helping her, she is 100% going to be doing perfectly fine here, no problem. Yeah, look at that. That's easy. I feel like she's also doing way more damage, but probably it's because the fight has gone on longer. Alright, that's easy. I think that's basically one fight down as soon as I get this down. I was worried for nothing. What is she gonna do? Suddenly hit me with an instant kill? Sure feels like she wants to. Ah, but you can't hurt me when I have the Castoria stuff up. Sorry to say. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Go. Hmm. I think I'll go. I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I think it will be fine. You know, there's a part of me that wants to hold it all, but there's another part of me that also likes having all of them active if it gets there. But I don't think she's gonna make it to the turn that's gonna be required for her to use it. The answer is. There's no need to listen to event mechanics if you have an MP5 servant who can simply just smash him in the face long enough. What did they do to me? Nothing. <laughs> no problems here whatsoever. Snake drinking water, why don't you show up real quick? There we go. As I check to see if there's any story things that going on here. Nope, there wasn't. Boom. Someone took it. I, it's funny that I, speaking of trying to be, like, very protective about spoiler things, um, I'm more protective than the actual Twitter account for, for the Fagoa NA side, because they just straight up posted something from this Lost Belt that is, like, the ending of the Lost Belt, which is really funny that they posted it up, because it's so specific. You know what I'm talking about if you already beat it, but the fact that they posted it is r really funny. So really, there's probably no reason for me to be doing this, but I'm doing it regardless. 
Um, assassin. Do I just want to go? Actually, no. I mean, you know, let's see if we can beat up the Toon Squad real quick. Let's see if that's going to be an assassin. I don't even need to use Gastoria for this, I think. I can just go classic Big Dumb and go for a caster because I never get to use this one. I'm going to use her. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go. Um, die, 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 die. Uh, assassin, go here, find Coin Skaya, go here, find my girl, where is she, where is she, right here, find Himiko, and then the rest of these is simple enough, just, yep, cool, and Mash, who I believe should be somewhere here, and this one I need to go back and find new ones for, because uh, I need to obviously get a Coin Skaya to go with it. Mm, yeah, one of these. Uh, okay. So what would actually be legitimately good on her? Because if I remember right, mine has, like, mana charging. So I have 100% on my MP. If I'm remembering correctly. Oh, it's at level 1, no. So maybe don't. Okay. That's fine. Uh, go here. Try to find the right charge up. Nope. And begin. Go here. Let's see, is it this one? Yeah. That works. This one I can give her the basic one. Even though I think it'd probably be okay to give her something defensive. I'm gonna give her something that'll give us so I have crit stars every turn, because that's pretty important for this team. And this will also help with Himiko as well. Uh crit stars each turn. Yep, and then here we go for her, just in case I want to use her Noble Phantasm right away, I need MP gain, then I'll just give her this, so give her some attack. Do I have anything to spare for these two? I do. Give that there, and then for the man who can survive it all. Okay, let's see. Uh, critical Strength, Arts Defense, nope. That's Arts, nope. Busta. There it is. MP gain? Mm, it can help him, in theory. It's not, I'm not saying it's the best choice, but I'm assuming if he's the only one left alive, it'll come in handy. I'll also move him all the way to the back. So, okay. We will use the support one and then switch him out and then go from there. And then I will click start quest. And I'll get a little event quest thingy here that says, Yo! Recollection quest 2, let's go. Then, in comes snake drinking water. To prevent any potential spoilers. Damn, that's crazy. I can't believe what is happening in this Lost Belt. It's some crazy stuff here. Now we're back in it. Now, who is the Mechanical God? D there you go. Apoff. Ignore this. <laughs> About the story context, Black Blake Blake, something happened. Uh, Aphrodite's here, giant samurai man looking at her saying, hey man, what's good? Okay, this might be, okay, never mind, it's not that bad. Oh, so this is the one where I can use him, right? So I can, I think he helps me every once in a while if I remember right. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go here, go here, go here. Go here. Go here. And I'm gonna wait a turn to bring out Himiko. Um, I can go here again. Just give him more. Yeah, not enough, but it's okay. Really? It all went to them? Okay. Sure, whatever. Show them the Buddha fist palm, girl. Yeah! Critical rate down. Great. Now get your MP back, kind of. Hit him with the jingle bells. Good job. Wukong win. Now don't hit me with a giant noble phantasm. I have no way to protect myself. Thank you for missing that. I don't know what you were trying to do there, but it failed. Oh, because I have debuff immunity because the song's on? Let's go. 
can't believe you do this. And begin. All right, well, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this anyway because I need to get Himiko out here. All right, Himiko was the reason for the season, so I'm gonna go here and do this. Um, actually, there's no reason for me to use. Hmm, actually. Let's see, only one singular buster card, so. Be nice to do this. Go here. And go a little bit here, here, here. Start building up for the future stuff. Eternal Mirror. My cat lose for currently very worried about the going, going on here. He's afraid of what could potentially happen to Song Zong. What if she actually accidentally gets hurt? This is just the way it has to go sometimes, boy. Clap. This is such a nice noble fantasy. Himiko! Kick her ass! Good job. She was already dead, but I like the moxie. Uh, started walking upright. Mm. Nice. Actually, funny enough. No! Why would you do that to her? That's so mean and fucked up. That's my. <laughs> that's, the, that's my only way of fighting. Um. That's no good. That is very bad. I would say that is devastating. Borderline devastating, and I might actually just lose completely because of that. Because Song Zong would have been able to kill her. But now I don't think she can. <laughs> Um, this is what we call desperation measures. Now go here. What are the chances that because she wasn't able to get her stuff back that it would happen to this? This is a very unfortunate situation, but I'm almost positive that Coin Sky is not living through this, and then neither is Song Zon. Alright, we might still have a chance. She did a decent amount of damage there, actually. There, sure. What, exactly two members. Himiko stands strong. The effects of being a ruler. But unfortunately, we lose a lot of crit stars here. Oh, but we had like 63 crit stars, never mind. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them went to mash. Um... Plant it up, Mash. Go here and... yeah. I mean, target focus. I already have target focus. There you go. Just kind of take the damage here as everyone else tries to kill. Aphrodite with the limited time I have left. I think I can do it, actually. It's not that bad. It's much worse than I thought. See, that's fine for her to do that on Mash. Never mind. I think everyone's dead here except for Himiko, who is stunned. Oh, wait, no! She lives! Uh oh. Um. I think I legitimately lose here. Unless I go here. Go here. And then hope to God? Pray? That something happens? Pray that Ku lives this? I mean, unfortunately for this, she applies debuffs, and that's very bad when you're the only one left on the team. Because it means I have, like, zero protection against anything. Golden Bear is trying his best here. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think I got this. It's gonna be a miracle if Ku is able to clutch this long enough to win. Because he's gonna get, yeah. Oh wait, no, I can get removed those debuffs. Okay, okay. Get rid of that, thank you. Go here. Here, then here, maybe for a mighty chain. Let's see if this kills. <laughs> Please, gay bulge. Hit yes, seventy thousand. 
Yes! <laughs> Alright, and he crit there at the end. Take that, Aphrodite. That's right. Defeated. Easy clap. Let's go. Let's ignore the fact that I was almost positive that I was losing that like seven different ways. Alright, snake drinking water. Spoiler shield up now. Ah, I was right to do it. There was a little story stuff here at the end. Well, not seeing that for now. Alright. And I'll go to this last one now. This totally not in no way is being able to spoil things. I'll also pause it so I can do the team build stuff behind it. So I can may as well just see what it is. Lancer? I think this is where you fight... Oh, shit. Uh... This is where you fight Canis. I think this is where you fight Canis. So, let's see. Oh, I can only pick Holmes. Please set Mash as the starting member. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I don't know what to do in this situation. I mean, I, the right answer here would be building for... I mean, these two are likely going to die. Maybe just putting every single, <laughs> every single good um, saber unit that I have, and being like, "Yo, that that this will be enough." Not you, Iskandar. You just just put everyone that would be considered good up front. Let's see. I'll go with Buki, and then I'll also make sure to give her the. Ignore invincibility one, because if I remember right, Canis actually does have, like, an annoying-ass shield in general. Then here, I can go for... You know, maybe, maybe, maybe him. He might be good here. I'll go here. MBA might be good here. And then for you, my guy, some way to live. Actually, you know what? I can. I think I can go aerial drive and then pick. Yeah, Betty. All right. I guess I didn't need to do anything with that. I don't think this team works out, but I'm gonna definitely try it. The fight hopefully shouldn't be that hard. That <laughs> this wouldn't be a viable team. So fatal battle. Canis and Woodman, the Woodhammer. Bequeath the golden pride to that soul. Now nah, that's just cheating. That feels like actual just cheap, cheap cheating. Um, obviously gonna go here. Then we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna go heal. Then we'll go here. We'll go from there. Yeah, look at the unbridled power of of part two mash on display way to plan egg you did it all right i'm going to yep because this is actually no i'm going to save that for when she's ready to do her crazy move here then i'll go here Let's see how this goes frozen deployment I do like the corrupted look of this. Yeah, slap him up. Not bad. Okay, so... Let me see, this will be good for... No. Save that for later. Go here. Go here. Actually buff the mesh in a funny way. Um, I want to hold on to his, because if I remember right, his is ignore defense to all enemies, apply ignore invincibility and increase crit strength and overcharge for all allies. Don't really need that right now. I don't actually don't have that much, so I'm just going to go for this. And she should, in theory, be able to kill right here, because mine's MP2. No, mine's MP3, excuse me. <laughs> Hit him with the wedding uh, strike. Sing. 
Didn't actually. Oh, it did fully go. Never mind. Nice. Sick having a bunch of MP gain. Come on. Uses the tank. Does nothing to match. For now. Perfectly fine. Healing down. Um. Let's see. Oh! That should prevent some more abilities from her. Apply some debuff from your dad. That would be good for him. Just in general. Then I'll go here with the Mighty Chain. And wait, continue to wait for him to have the right cards to go full um, into attacking with him. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. One debuff immune. A little white here. Hit me with your uh, impotent rage all you like. I'm gonna ignore all the massive amount of buffs that you've acquired so far. Um, let's see. Okay. I think this will work out. Okay. So I can apply that. Go here. There we go. Ignore some defensive stuff. Now the problem is here is that I've realized I don't really have a way to remove all the insane amount of buffs that Canis is going to be uh, piling up here. Which is bad because I did not remember that they could do that. So this might be uh, tricky. Very tricky. Yeah, okay. Oh, and they have AoE, so this was pointless to hold on to. Um, hmm... I mean, this means two of them die. Um, but I can save Nero for now, and then also hold up an invincibility with... Okay, yeah. I think I'll do that. Because... Oh, wait! Damn it, she guarded it against it. If I remember right, this does give invincibility. Does not. Never mind. I'm stupid. I'll go here. I'll shoot off <laughs> one final. Mm. Yeah, sure. Go here. Probably should have used uh, Sherlock over her, actually, but I think that she still will deal more damage. Bust her resistance down. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I, this is why I said this entire Lost Belt, the only thing I remember is that it's super annoying. I should have just used Castoria, but it's fine. And she has a way to ignore the- no, she doesn't. Okay, never mind. Oh, she wasn't able to kill? That's funny. Okay. Here she is. Back at it again. Go here to make it so she continues to target Bash only. Then go here. See if I can get my noble phantasm back before she dies. Dancing flower. Yeah, not bad. And she'll be down to another charge break. Chance for it. I told you. I remembered something annoying about this <laughs> this fight. You never forget the truly annoying fights that Fugo gives you. So let me see. She has. Unfortunately, she's almost dead, and I didn't realize that. I probably shouldn't have used the unit that had the chance to ignore her mechanic, but it's fine. I'll see if I can save up for a noble phantasm of some kind. Uh, of course, the problem here is that I don't think Bedivere is able to survive this. He is not built like Ku. The only thing he has is type advantage, and I have a feeling, based off of the many stats here, that's not going to matter. Like, at all. Alright. Alright, not bad, I guess. Ooh, I can... 
buff up Ibuki. And then go... Why? Curse my existence. Go here. Continue to go, why Mash? Why it wasn't Mash that got the, the three? That's so bad. It's fine. Yay, main event Mash. Go get him. Please don't kill the good units. Yes. I forgot you had guts. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go here. And go. Go here. Another mighty chain. Of course. Sure. Down she goes. Thankfully, she lives. Here. Save up that. Mm. I guess this is like just the best that I can do for right now. Select target. I can give that to Mash. Maybe she has a chance to make Abuki live. Okay. Alright, let me look at your overcharge effect real quick. Increase defense. Okay. Just then go here and then. Just to give up his noble phantasm, I guess, and hope 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 this is enough defense going Abuki's way that she survives his noble phantasm to the face. Fortunately, not enough to bring her down. Mold Camelot. Of course. Sure. Climb higher and higher. Nope. <laughs> Was not enough to survive. But I tried. Alright. Well, at least you're not going down alone. Sure, we'll use that for some of these games. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, this is the problem with um, the chance of invincibility. I think that might be one of my least favorite mechanics in the entire game. Even though there is an easy way out it, which is just like choose units that ignore invincibility, I still really don't like it. <laughs> Because now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna use this Noble Phantasm, and I know for a 100% fact, she's gonna be immune to it. No matter what I do, she's gonna be immune to it. No, okay, never mind. Go there. Not bad. Way to go, Santa Claus. We might have this. We do have this! Way to go, Santa! Love it. You'd love to see it. If you want to see the actual end of that fight, you have to go do the Lost Bell itself. Uh, snake drinking water. Please protect the people. Okay, never mind. You weren't needed. Summon tickets, alright. Well, that's a nice way to going down there. I still remember a lot of the story of this one, so it's why I, I don't know how most people do it. It's, it hasn't been that long for me where I'm like forgetting it, so I usually skip a lot of the story stuff. If it was older by like a long period, like I, I did it for like the early ones, like for one, two, and three, but from four, five, six, and onward, I'm like, that's still technically too new for me, so I didn't skip any of them. Uh, I skipped all of them, like, but I, I'll read these later. But that is it for this one. Uh, maybe I'll do the Super Recollection ones with my brother at some point. See if we can't also make a team now. Now that I know what the actual fights are being and these are going to be harder versions of it. Maybe I can rope them in and say like, hey, let's do this. We'll see. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you guys the best of luck. If you're busy grinding up for Lost Belt 6 to get to 7, to getting to getting to Lost Belt 6. If you're currently grinding for Lost Belt 5, I wish you the best. If you want the actual easy cheat code, it's the answer is just use Castoria. 
I want to say that Lost Belt 5 was released before Storia? If I remember correctly? it's It feels like the story was designed before her. There's like a certain point in the story where almost all the old Lost Belt fights can be trivial trivialized if you just use Castoria because they were not planning to have a unit that had <laughs> Castoria's abilities when they designed the fights. So her ability to apply the shields just completely breaks it. As you could see with the Beast of Calamity fight where I was fighting her and she just like did nothing. She, <laughs> that was like the easiest fight of all of them and that was against the Beast. Um, so yeah, that's my advice for you. That's the end of the video everyone. Till next time. Peace out. Mm, bye.